Alright guys, this is uh, my new step craft and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get it uh, zeroed out and, and working properly. Uh, this is the, the Y axis that I'm bringing home now. I should just about touch that and it does, very good. Okay, now this has been loosened. You can see that this has been loosened, like they suggest, so nothing's tight. I'm going to bring it up this way first. That's supposed to be Y home, which is supposed to be the zero, I thought. I'm going to zero it and see what the hell happens. Um, so now we're going to bring it forward, and it should should touch that just about touch same thing as down there it's kind of a kind of a boring slow process so sometimes you have to do this three four five times no I got it wrong the front the front was supposed to be front was supposed to be zero that's all right well we'll get it anyways it's supposed to travel on the uh, the length doesn't mind. It shouldn't matter if it's minus or positive. All right. Here it comes. The anticipation is coming. Now, even though this touches, if it, if it gets up here and almost touches, still doesn't mean it's uh, working properly because once I tighten those screws, it could change everything. So what they say is, is to get it up here, and there you go. That's good, right there. Now, what they say is to tighten this up. We're going to tighten these uh, screws up. Okay, some some say snug them. Just you want them just snugged. You don't. They don't need to be cranked down, but you know, snugged. You can see you can see the movement out of that space right there. I'm going to tighten it down that much anyhow. Okay, so we're going to tighten all these up. Okay, I'm not I'm not really cranking them down, so um, and they say tighten these down, make them snug, make them snug. Now let's see if it'll go back. And clear, clear that, and now we're going to go back. Boy, does that sound like crap. That, uh, that doesn't sound good at all. There's the button that's going to touch and stopped. Okay, and you get your machine access stop. Okay, now we're going to move it up front again. Good to me. Now, before it gets all the way up here, I'm going to test it. Okay, see that?
don't know if you can see it or not. It was probably about a two millimeter, two, three millimeter play in that. And it should be solid as a rock. But if I if I get that solid as a rock, it's gonna stop. It would stop about this far back. And this may still stop this far back once I because I tighten those things and the way it sounds. Well, that that did not sound good. That does not sound good, my friends. Let's go home one more time. Sound, that sounds like I got some. Sounds like I got some issues there. Good. You know, I guess you uh, you gotta work with good enough. Listen to that sucker, man. <laughs> I, I haven't had CNC machines before, but I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to sound like that. That looks pretty good. That's about the way it's supposed to be right there. All right. Well, I'm going to send this to uh, <laughs> to the company and see see what they can do for me. I'm going to try the X hole now. And that again should stop. And that should meet almost meet that right there. Okay, good deal. Good deal. That's home. Home for the holidays. Now let's see if we get the same thing on the other side. I mean, I like the machine. Uh, it does a pretty good job and everything. I haven't done any 3D work yet. I've done all just 2D work. Um, but, I mean, I, I, I've called them with some issues because I could never get it to even get that close to the front before. And it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. So, see, that is not good. See, and that should be, that says limits right there. And that is not the limit. It should be almost touching like the other side. So let's send it home again. Like I said, this is not the most exciting part of uh, working on this machine.
Now this over here is a button that stops it. But over there is just supposed to be the uh, distance. The distance is supposed to stop it. So now we're going to come back this side. It's count, counting up and when it hits the right distance that's when it stops. Tells it the work area. And that, that inch and a half over there is not the work area. It's supposed to go right to the maximum area. There you go. There you go. So it took two times on that. And whatever, that's fine. I mean, if I can get it to do that every time, I, that wouldn't bother me at all. Um, you know, that's that's a good deal right there. Now I'm going to run this to the center, because uh, you can't go to the edge when you're zeroing the Z. Um, because it'll uh, it'll hit, in, hit into that that edge right there so you need to get it away from the end and make sure also this is not sticking down like that okay because that'll that'll give you a false reading there make sure it's up like that and we'll Z at home which is in the up all the way up and that's good to go there and we're gonna go Z all the way down and it should stop probably a, I don't know, eighth of an inch from the bottom or so. Right around there. See that? Well, that's about right, right there. You need room for the tool and stuff, so that, that looks right. That's all the way down. See right there, it's touching. Touching right there, perfect there. Let's home it one more time. I like to do everything twice. And just to make sure. It's almost touching there, perfect. Okay. And now let's go down again, and this should touch. Let's go down again, and this should touch, just touch. And there you go. That's that's the button being pushed. So that's good. I think we got this worked out. Just that, that noise from the rails, that concerns me a little bit. Um, so, all right, well, let's Puma out. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you later. Bye.